Hey guys, it's Kim Dow here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. And yes, like the title says, today is my last day in Japan. So I never intended to stay in Japan forever. Like I said many times, I only wanted to stay in Japan for one year. I've been here for about a year and a half now and I feel that I've done everything that I wanted to do, so I'm ready to leave. And I've been going on about this in other videos, but I really wanted to try and travel around the world before I settled down in Australia. So the plan is I'm going back to Australia tonight, but I got a 12 hour stop over in Singapore. So I'm gonna go outside of the airport and I'm gonna go see my friends. I'm also doing a meetup in Singapore. So by the time this video is up, it's probably gonna be like a week after it actually happened or two weeks, depending on how much I can get done. But um, yes, I am going to do a meetup, which I've announced like on my Instagram and stuff like that. I'm doing that at Changi Airport for two hours before I go off and see my friend and we're gonna hang out for the day in Singapore so that's going to be exciting. Then I am going to be flying back to Perth and I'm gonna be in Perth for two weeks. Then I'm going to Korea for one week and then off to Europe. And um, pretty much like I think two and a half weeks into my Europe trip I have to fly back to Korea because I got invited to an event um, for a project and I am going to be doing that for one week then going back to Europe for another two and a half weeks I believe so yeah it's kind of like a messed up itinerary but you know it's okay I'm kind of used to flying around lots anyway and then after Europe I'm flying back to Korea for about two weeks and then I'm flying back to Perth and then I'm hopefully going to be moving in with my boyfriend because uh, we were told that our apartment might be done in August. So earlier than expected which is really exciting so we might be able to settle in um, and do settlement in September. Maybe. So if that happens then yeah that will be great and then I might be going back to Japan in September, not sure yet depending on how um, the project goes and I might also be going back in November for another project so you know I'm not leaving Japan forever so I don't feel sad at all because I know I'll be back. I've been saying goodbye to a lot of people the last a uh, week or so I've been saying goodbye to like I think 20 people. I've met up with so many and yeah it was really good. Um, it was sad to say goodbye. But at the same time, it's like, oh, I'm going to see you again. The sad thing is like a lot of my friends that live in Japan, they don't plan to live in Japan forever as well. So they plan to go back to their own countries, which is kind of sad because I don't know when I'm going to go to their countries. But hopefully I get to travel around more um, next year. So we'll see how things go. Hopefully we'll get a bit better soon. So I'll start uploading again on my main channel. And yeah, I'll still vlog when I'm in Australia. So hopefully you guys like look forward to those vlogs it's gonna be like a bit different I guess because you know Australia is completely different to Japan but I'm still gonna be me still gonna be the same person so hopefully that you guys will still watch my vlogs after I've gone back the plan today is to finish packing up all of my stuff um, I've almost finished so I need to pack away um, a few more things and I just have to meet up with Sophie because I left my hard drive at her house yesterday. I really wanted to upload a video on my main channel but unfortunately um, I just forgot my hard drive so I can't do anything without that. So I'm going to meet up with her and hopefully I can edit the video and then maybe upload the video uh, tonight. I might be meeting Sophie maybe around the Harajuku area so just hang out there for a bit and then you know chill, relax, edit videos and stuff. Right, I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm going to finish off my packing before I get more stressed out. Right, I think I got everything packed. I'm a little bit worried because I'm a little bit overweight. I have about 30 kilos of luggage but unfortunately I think that my luggages are about 32 kilos altogether. So fingers crossed it would be okay. Otherwise I'm gonna come home afterwards and try and repack and see if I can take some stuff out. Anyway, I'm gonna head off to Harajuku now to meet Sophie and Luke so I'll see you guys there. I forgot it's Saturday so it's super busy but um, I'm just gonna go and do some last minute shopping for my friend and boyfriend and then I'm gonna meet Sophie and Luke. I'm gonna get these, so this is for my friend, this is for my boyfriend, he wanted the Biore strips and he wanted some skincare too but I'm not really sure what skincare I can get for men's 
Alright, I made it to a cafe and I got my hard drive back from Sophie so I'm just quickly editing my video and um, we're just having a really late lunch. To start off, I just got um, a cafe ore. Sophie got, uh, is this just milk tea? Ice milk tea? Yeah, yeah, ice milk tea. Yeah, oh yeah, so I'm with Sophie. Luke is just um, going somewhere else to eat and then I might meet up with some more people afterwards so yeah, I'm gonna try and finish this video quickly first before I go. This is my lunch, so I've just got some egg and cheese, tomatoes, lettuce. Well, Sophie's looks good. Yeah, right? Mm, yeah. I'm gonna get you started that. Alright, I just sat down and finished my video and then I want to look at these shoes just one last time. One last time and then I'll see if I'm gonna buy them or not. I really want to try on this shoe, it looks so cute. I ended up buying the shoes, I'll show you guys later, but like they're just nice summer shoes because I've been wearing like my Nike Air Forces for like a very long time and yeah, um, because I am traveling to like Korean Europe after the summer there, uh, I just wanted some cute summer shoes. In your Yogi Park. Um, I'm gonna meet my friend in the Motosando afterwards. I was gonna go to Big Camera to cancel my SIM card, but I think I might go afterwards. Hopefully I have time though because I have to get to the airport around 10 p.m. And it's currently 6 p.m. so I've still got four hours. Yeah, I'm at Hanada so it's not so bad. Not as, it's not as bad as Narita. Nalu um, now the cafe gonna have dinner there but I'm gonna go up and say goodbye to my hairdresser because he's done so much for me Alright I am back and then I'm gonna show you guys the shoes that I got so I got these really cute shoes from No4. I don't really have that many summer shoes. I've only got like sneakers that I've been wearing every single day. So got those. I'm going to quickly pack my luggage now because I have to head to the airport. So I'll see you guys when I get to the airport. <laughs> Made it to my gate. I've got about 15 minutes before I have to board. I took off my makeup and did my skincare, and yeah, I'm about to head off. So, as you can see, I'm wearing my Harry Potter outfit along with my Pikachu jacket. Um, my bag was like 1.2 kilos overweight, and because I'm taking two different airlines, um, Jao was like, Oh, I mean, for us, it's okay, but Qantas might make you like, you know take out stuff in Singapore and they might not send your luggage through to Australia so then they told me it's best to try and take out the stuff because I'm taking two different airlines so I was like yeah okay and um, had to think about what I had in my luggage that was okay for me to carry and the only thing I could think of is this Harry Potter robe because I know it's heavy so I took this out took my scarf out took out my cardigan as well so I'm wearing this um, it's pretty hot but I know in the airplane it does get cold usually on airplanes I prefer to be all rugged up anyways I am getting some weird looks and uh, when I was checking in my luggage the guy at the counter was just laughing at me um, I'm going to Singapore for 12 hours actually so I land at 6 a.m. and I'm gonna freshen up get ready and then I am going to have my meetup at 9 a.m. My meetup is for two hours in Singapore airport. Then I am going out of the airport. I'm gonna hang out with my friend and yeah, then go back to Australia tomorrow. Um, I'll be back in Australia by midnight the next day. So anyway guys, I'm gonna go board now.
I finally made it to Singapore. It's like 6 a.m. in the morning, so I'm pretty tired. I didn't actually get much sleep on the plane because they had Beauty and the Beast and I really wanted to watch that movie. I've been dying to watch it and never had a chance to, so I decided to watch that movie instead of sleeping. Going to go and get changed now because I'm wearing this ridiculous like Harry Potter robe and then this picture jacket on top and it's really hot in Singapore so everyone's like kind of looking at me like why are you dressed like that so I'm gonna get changed because I actually bought a spare change of clothes I'm gonna go out of immigration and yeah I'm gonna have my meetup but I'm gonna just freshen up first maybe take a shower and then maybe do my makeup but anyway I'm gonna end this video here because I'm going to make the next video my Singapore day so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you guys in the next video bye